Hi there, my name is Martina and I will be explaining module 3, 4 and 5 of this tutorial. Welcome to module 3. So for module 3, we assume the following. You already have a computational environment that is ready to start building your Jupyter book. This implies you have Jupyter book already installed, other necessary packages already installed in their correct version. You should also have a copy of the main repository of this tutorial in your computer. If you don't have your computational environment ready, then head over to module one where we explain how to install everything. Otherwise, you will have issues running the notebook three of this tutorial. We also assume that you now understand what a Jupyter book is and it's a, the advantages of this tool. If you don't, then head over to their official documentation and module two of this tutorial and read all about it again. You, we also assume that you are now familiar with the Turing Way book and its deployment using Jupyter book. This is also explained in module two and you will also have the links to the Turing Way project there. So what will you learn in module three? Well, first of all, you'll get familiar with the files that are used in this tutorial. You will also learn what are the most essential and basic components of a Jupyter book. That is the elements that are, are absolutely needed in order to build your first Jupyter book. And of course, you will build a very basic version of a Jupyter book using the examples of the Turing way. So in this, in this brief video, I'm going to explain very briefly uh, the essential components of a Jupyter book. But in order to get a more detailed explanation, you still need to run Notebook 3. So make sure you do so. Okay, so what are the essential components you need to build a Jupyter book? You, fir you first need, of course, some content. And in this tutorial, we provide these content files under the folder content in the main repository, which are the following. I will, know, I will not explain it, those files here, but for a detailed explanation, you can check Notebook 3. For building a Jupyter book, you also need a uh, and a folder that is special to do so. In this folder, you will store all the essential components and also store the HTML files that are going to be built in order to host your book online. And when I say build, these are the files that are built by Jupyter Book based on your content files. So in this tutorial, we have decided to name such folder book, but it doesn't have to be named this way. You can choose whatever name you prefer. And finally, to build a Jupyter Book, we also need to specify its structure. In other words, we need what is called a table of contents. In Jupyter Book, a table of context, contents is defined in what is called a talk YAML file, which will look like this. So as you see, the file defines the path to the files that you want to con convert to HTML format and host you and have it on your Jupyter Book online, right? So the Talk YAML also specifies the order of the files and the hierarchy of the files. So in this case, for example, overview and open research are subsections of reproducibility guide. And the Talk YAML also specifies other features, for example, the title of each section or numbering, which is not used in the specific example. But each of these things you will see in detail in Notebook 3. So before building your book, your book folder should look like this. And now we're ready to build Jupyter Book. And to do so, we need to run, execute the command Jupyter Book build and provide the path to your book folder. And after running your command, you just see a build folder in your book folder, um, which contains all the HTML files. And if you follow this path and you open the HTML files, then you will be able to see your first Jupyter book. And your first Jupyter book should be something like this. So by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to have something like this. So in our notebook, we provide more detailed instructions and explanations of each of these steps and elements. So make sure to read it carefully. I hope you enjoy module three and get in touch with us if you run into any issues. See you in module four.